This is the story of how I found an edge in a niche market that would have made me about a thousand, maybe two or even three thousand dollars a month and why I decided not to exploit it at the time and how modern AI tooling would have completely changed my decision had it existed at the time. So I'll take you all back to 2021 when NFTs were all the rage. The main platform for buying NFTs back then and still today is OpenSea. But other more niche platforms do exist and they serve subtly different purposes. So for example, NFTX, what this does is it provides what they call a vault of different NFTs. So this is for Chromie Squiggles and it tries to make them a bit more fungible, which is ironic because they're non-fungible tokens, but it tries to make them more fungible and more easily tradable by saying that for a constant price, you can buy any of the items in this vault. They all cost exactly the same. You can buy or sell instantly and that provides a bit of liquidity and there's some clever algorithms behind the scenes that try and keep it all running smoothly. Now, what I noticed back then is that sometimes what would happen, especially during periods of volatility, is that I could example buy from here at this price and then I could sell on OpenSea at the offer price and sometimes there would be a relatively decent spread between those two maybe a five to ten percent spread which on a ten thousand dollar NFT is going to be a reasonable amount of money across all the different vaults that they have this could potentially add up and of course you've got slippage and things like that but there were all sorts of these little strategies and inefficiencies which existed in this market which was very new at the time so not too many sophisticated players from just watching these markets and manually trading it a couple of times i established that it was possible to make money arbitraging this with relatively minimal risk if you buy on one and then sell on the other platform there is of course a delay while you're moving it transaction fees etc etc but the problem was that manually trading a strategy like this would take a considerable chunk of my day constantly refreshing different pages figuring out what's going on and so i thought what if i could automate it instead OpenSea had an api at the time although it was invite only kind of hard to get into and then not the best documented or stable etc and then I would also have to interface with the Ethereum protocol in order to automatically do the transactions. Lots and lots of moving parts such that to even get an MVP of this trading system to backtest the strategy, to do some paper trading or live trading in an unfamiliar ecosystem with languages I didn't really understand. I'd have to do some complex browser automation. I figured it could be months and months of full-time work to even get a prototype up and running and that by the time i get that running the edge might have decayed or not be even there or i might just be seeing ghosts and it might not exist at all so at the time i decided not to investigate this any further and not to go ahead with it as ultimately on the balance of probabilities spending months building a system like this was in my mind not positive ev because I could just do contract work in that time for much less risk. This video was inspired by this post I saw where someone had put together a alerting system that would let them know when suspicious activities happening on certain markets within polymarket, i.e. an insider knows something that everyone else doesn't, and then they could join them on that trade and profit from it. Again, pre-AI, Something like this might have been quite difficult to do. It might have taken weeks of full-time work potentially, depending on how familiar you are with the technology, just to get a prototype before you can even start testing it to see if that strategy actually works. Whereas with AI tooling, something like Claude Code, you can build an MVP in a matter of hours. So if it doesn't work out, it's not that big of a deal. And so had I had access to Claude Code back in 2021, I could have built a simple MVP, an alerting system, something like that very quickly and validated whether there was real edge there much faster 
and given me more information on how much I could have actually made from that opportunity. This phenomena of new technologies disrupting old markets is not a new thing. Here's a talk from Bill Benter, who made an awful lot of money from betting on horses back in the 1980s. And he was able to gain an advantage over the bookies by doing statistical analysis with a computer at a time when the personal computer revolution was underway. More and more people were gaining access to more powerful computers that could actually run the kind of calculations that he wanted to run. And he could find correlations between different variables that would allow him to predict more accurately whether a horse would win or not, or whether the odds presented were good or not. This happened even earlier with someone like Ed Thorpe, who all the way back in the 1960s was using a wearable computer to reliably beat roulette. So obviously computers were a very new and novel technology back then. Casinos weren't wise to his techniques. And he later went on to become a hedge fund manager and use things like statistical arbitrage to make a lot of money. And there are lots of these opportunities out there. So here on Polymarket, you can bet on the amount of time that Elon Musk will tweet within a given time period. This happens every week, you can do this. There's $20 million being bet on this market right now. So if you can find even a couple of percentage points of edge, you're going to do quite well out of it. But at the same time, this is so small that an entity like Jane Street, for example, is unlikely to be entering. Again, pre-AI, building infrastructure for something like this would seem silly. Building a statistical model of Elon Musk tweets or some kind of arbitrage bot that scrapes the Twitter API, figures out exactly when he's tweeting and adjusts the odds on Polymarket respectively. Something like that would take serious engineering effort and be a large project. Whereas now it can be done in an afternoon, at least to an MVP level where you can test it out. And there are hundreds and hundreds of markets like this on Polymarket but almost anywhere where things can be bought or sold, like this NFT example, I'm sure meme coins have their own world of different inefficiencies or wrong implied odds that can be exploited. Tools like Claude Code enable rapid idea testing such that exploring these marketplaces and creating custom software for them is now positive EV and relatively easy to do if you have the skills. You only need to be better than the person on the other side of the trade. How many of these people are building backtesting systems or custom software specifically designed for this particular market? Probably not that many of them. And if this market doesn't work out, there are lots of other options all over the internet of things that can be bought or sold or traded. In these niche markets where the big hedge funds are not playing and so you're not competing with them. This is a really exciting time to be alive with tools like Claude. There are a lot of opportunities out there. If history is any guide, this will probably be a small window of opportunity, like Ed Thorpe taking his computer into the casino. People will get wise, the market will adjust. But for right now, the opportunity is there if you go looking for it.